My high school actually had a planetarium. The astronomy teacher was really fundamental in nurturing my interest, then let me, you know, turn off the lights and be in the planetarium all by myself. And that really inspired me and made it feel like this is something that I can actually do. I lead a program called Cosmos Webb, which is one of the largest programs undertaken with the James Webb Space Telescope, which is the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. We're trying to find the most massive galaxies that really push at the extreme margins of what the universe can produce. And by finding those extreme sources, we get to test fundamental laws of physics. Her work is really incredibly fundamental and foundational and asks these amazing questions about what is the origin of the universe. A big surprise when JWST first turned on was an overabundance of very bright galaxies at early times. We were not expecting this at all. We maybe expected 10 or so galaxies at these extraordinary distances. We found 100. They had to have had some sort of very efficient process of forming their stars, of forming their black holes that we just don't see in the universe today. What we can do is not just find the most distant galaxies, but find where they live in the, the biggest structures known on the largest scales of the universe. It's impossible to predict what we're gonna find next. There's so much to learn. I don't know what the next surprise is gonna be, but I'm here for it. <laughs>